Good morning. The plan today is I'm chasing after kingfish. Um, it's really calm this morning. There's not much swell. It's a super low tide and I've managed to tuck in on this reef here. I've never fished this reef. Normally you can't even get close to it for swells breaking. So I'm really dubious about where I'm parking here. Um, I've got the motor running still. I'm here by myself so I'm being super aware of where I am and where I'm drifting. I've got a big popper hooked up here. That's a Rooster 160. Helco Rooster 160 rigged up. Um, the biggest popper I've got on here. Give me the best casting distance I can get. So I'm just popping around this reef and just see if I can scare up a few kings. It's a low tide, which is not really the ideal situation, but the moon's leading up to full in the next day or so, so that's always good. But yeah, this reef, I just don't know if I'm getting in the zone because the sun's not up enough for me to be able to see and I'm not too keen to go in there until I can see what's going on. I'll have a few casts and move around a bit and see if I can't find myself. Come on, Pasha. I'm in the zone now. Maybe a little bit too much in the zone actually. Again, I don't know this reef so well, so I'm a bit dubious about where I park and don't park. It looks like the right stuff though. Another little zone here. It's really disconcerting when there's no waves breaking. When there's waves, at least you know where you're standing, you know where they're gonna break. When it's like low swell like this, you're just not sure until it pops up. Just random ones coming through. I know generally if I'm in sandy holes like this that I'm generally okay. I'm in five meters in sand, so I'm, I'm okay where I am here. But just behind me there, there's a whole load of, oh, I'm bleeding. Just behind me there, there's a whole heap of bummies. I'm giving it a solid hour, just flicking at those reefs there. Cruising around, flicking at bummies. It's really hard to distinguish the zones and where I can and can't see it. Um, the sun is just, it's blocked by so much cloud cover this morning. I can't see into the water as well as I'd like to. So I'm going to give that a miss and go to plan B, which is go for a bit of a troll. So I've put a big Helco Laser Plot Pro on this side and I've got a little um, Trembler on this side. Going to troll along the back of the reef and see if I can't get some early season pelagics, um, maybe some small tuna or uh, hopefully a mackerel, but it's a bit early in the season. Water temperature is 22.2 degrees. I did see 22.6 in there a bit further where I was before. So it's not super cold. It's actually pretty warm for this time of the year. So I'm out in uh, 18 meters of water here, just cruising along. I've got my side scan on. I'm just keeping an eye on the side scan. Just sort of, as because I'm cruising slowly, I'm just sort of watching the side scan and getting used to it and understanding what it reads because I haven't really used it that much. So I figured while I was trolling along, it was a good time for me to sit here and watch the sounder and just, um, kind of get used to what it's telling me but I'm cruising I'm gonna just I'm heading out I'm in 18 meters but I'm gonna head out to about 28 30 I've got a bummy out there that by the time I get out there I might jig up a few sambos or something if I can but the main plan is to try to <laughs> the main plan is to try to troll up a tuna or something if possible but we'll see how we go we'll give it a crack all right bit of a change of plans I've been trolling for a while just nothing's happening so I trolled my way out to this bit of a lump here where we sometimes get sambos, so I'm going to have a few jigs and see if I can't get a Samson fish on. Because um, I'm lazy, I'm not even going to tie on a jig. 
I'm gonna use this soft plastic I got on here already and um, drop that to the bottom, see what happens. The sound is pretty lit. These new plastics, they're called um, Bomb Squad from Lazy Lures. I've never used them before. They sent me out a couple to try, so we'll give them a crack. Lazy Lures Bomb Squad. I've just got a couple of muleys here. I'll throw a couple of handfuls of muleys down just to see if I can't get them a bit excited. Yep. Oh, that didn't take long. The Bomb Squad scores. Oh, it's off. Yeah. Oh, I hope you stay connected this time. Let's go. It's not huge, but it's something. Let's go. Had to get hit by something. Oh, what are they? I don't even think they're Samson fish. Oh, they're skippy. Oh, there's a lot of Samson fish down there, but. A lot of Samson fish down there. Okay, there's a skippy on the Bomb Squad jig. I loved him. That skippy. It's not this guy's day because I'm going to put a hook in him. Let's put a hook in him. He's going back down. Let's see if I can't get Mr. Samson fish to play. Here you go, buddy. Keep his looking pretty nervous over there. <laughs> I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised at all. Here we go. Yeah. Skippy got eaten. <laughs> Oh, lucky I've got the old rod cushion here. Save the jewels from getting belted. Get in there. Alright. Oh, no. Drag up. Oh, that was always gonna happen. Oh, he's just done me. Oh, he got to the bottom, he smoked me. What? Well, wow. all right. I know, I tied on a metal jig here. So a little jig nesis, metal, slow flutter sort of jig. Let's drop this down, see if we can't scare one up on the jig. That last one just smoked me. Absolutely schnizzed me. I'm gonna put the cushion on first and be ready. If you haven't got one of these, get one. Rod cushions, so comfortable on your, Keeps the old jewels in a, in a good position. Not getting belted up. Nothing worse. Something had to go there. Yeah. Uh. This one doesn't feel as big as the last one. Oh, it's just making a liar out of me. See my glasses are fogged up from this mask. What is that? Oh, yeah, it's a Samson fish. Yeah, that's not as big as the last one I just hooked. And in he comes. Saddle, saddle, saddle. I don't want to hook in my hand. There you go. Little Sambo, that wasn't too hard. So the trolling's been quiet. I tucked in a few reefs in there early this morning trying to, trying to get kingfish and that wasn't happening. The trolling was quiet. 
trolled out to this this little lump here and the sambos look like they're on so let's get this guy back he's got that little gignosis jig in his mouth he'll go back easy enough see you bud thanks that was almost too easy Oh, that one was close to the bottom. Come on, up you come. Oh, he was close to the bottom. Come on, let's go. I can't let him get back down there again because he'll smoke me. Let's go. Oh, can you guys see the whole school that's down there? I don't know if the camera's going to show you that. Oh, yes. Oh, what's this one? This one's an amberjack, I think. Oh, look at him. See his mates all there on the set. Look at all his mates chasing him. I think this one's an amberjack. Oh, no, he's a sambo. There you go. Another nice little bow. He's only a toddler. I want to see if I can get one on this bomb, on this bomb squad jig. Oh! <laughs> well, okay, yeah, you can. <laughs> that was almost too easy. <laughs> oh, now I've got problems. I don't know how long this is going to last. <laughs> Scotty, why do you play these games? <laughs> so this is the 20-pound gear <laughs> that I used to get that skippy live bait. Excuse the huffing and puffing. Well, all I did was move that. All I did was move that plastic a little bit. It was dangling down there because I had it. I cast it out and then I let it sink while I was playing with that jig. And all I did was jig it a few times, moved it, and bang, it was on instantly. But they must have been swimming around that for the last 10 minutes and not touched it, as soon as it moves, they're all over it. Oh God, I'm in big trouble here. Where's my fishing rod cushion? Oh, what have I done with it? Where did I put it? There it is. The old fishing rod cushion, so much nicer on your stomach. You don't get that red dot, the red dot of shame in your stomach. Oh, it's kind of a badge of honor though. Oh, I can't even see this guy. He's still way deep, way down. I just got to take it easy. Just take my time on him. Either I'll wear out or he'll wear out. Oh, at the moment it's in his favour, I think. How much fun is this? So, I know the demersal season opens up in like another couple of weeks, which is cool. We're back to snapper and dewies again, but in the meantime, there's still plenty of fun to be had. If you just love your fishing, it's pretty hard to go past this. I'm only in 28 meters of water, like you can see the coast in there, probably four mile out if I'm lucky. It's just a matter of driving slowly around until you find a bit of a bommy that's holding bait, and generally these sandbows won't be far away. Oh, this guy seems to be a long way away for me though. <laughs> Filled this reel up a while ago. Um, 
it was Berkeley Berkeley braid, 20 pound Berkeley braid. I really like it. It's actually really nice braid. It's quite thin, very strong. I haven't had a wind knot out of it yet. Ties knots really nicely. I'm quite happy. I've got it on the other reel up there as well. I got 50 pound on my bigger reel for fishing for kings. And I've been really liking it on that. So I thought I'd try it on the lighter gear for snapper. And this 20 pound is actually really nice as well. I'll buy this again. Um, line's a personal thing. Some people like different types of line. Oh, this guy's actually a bit bigger, as he would be, on the lighter gear. That's always going to be the way, isn't it? Oh, come on, stay on. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, there you go. That's my 20 pound Berkeley line. It's like blue and black in color. It's pretty cool stuff. Let's take my rod cushion off. All right. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> he's got that little, he's got that little bomb squad, lazy lures bomb squad lure in his mouth. <laughs> It's not what you would call a Samson fish jigging lure, but the guy sent me out the lures and I had to give it a crack. It was only fair. There you go, he loved it. Beautiful. Pretty happy with that. Nice fish. Oh, I'm not going to put him on there because he's going to go nuts and throw everything over the side. <laughs> Look at the size of the hook on this bomb squad lure too. It's only tiny, tiny little hook. He can go. So I got a Helco, I'm not even sure what it is, a Laser Pro, Helco Laser Pro in gold, because it's overcast today. So I'll whack that one out the back. Maybe slow down a bit. I'm troll about six knots, I guess. Five and a half, six knots around there. And out this side, I got a little Helco um, Trembler. I don't think you can get these anymore, but the tuna really like them. So I'll whack that out. Out this side here. Boy, you can really feel that. Brrrr, really starts to shake and shimmy that one. This one will back the drag off a little bit because it's on Sambo drag at the moment. And that's it. Sit back and cruise. So, once more, I'm going to troll with a side scan on. Um, there's no better time to be finding ground than when you're just trolling along. Trolling at this speed's perfect. Your sound is getting really good bottom. Your side scan's got a chance to work. I'm trolling out here in 28, 30 meters. Perfect time. Just troll along and just always keep one eye on the sounder and you just never know when you're going to spot a random bommy or a bit of coral or something you've never seen before in close and then you've got yourself a nice little in close um, Jewfish spot or whatever, same out wide too, it doesn't really matter in close or out wide, always keep one eye on because you never know when you're going to pass over something. I mean, you can miss it by 20 meters on your way out every time and not see it. And then that one time you're just going slow and just happen to be off course a little bit and bang, you'll see something and it could be potentially a, a really good spot. So always keep one eye open. I'm just going to slow troll, you can see that, that Helco Laser Pro there, how, how much that tip's really twitching. That's really swimming digging deep so yeah just cruising far out it's hot yeah fish wow i was just watching there before and the big lure copped a couple of bang bang bangs and i thought was that the bottom it just got or was that actually a fish and as i was watching that this one just picked up something it's not big something's had a crack at it what is this I don't even know what this is. It's not huge. Something's had a red hot go though. Oh, it's a snook. Captain Snook. Yeah, righto, mate. You can just go back. I don't really want you. See ya. Appreciate that he had a red hot go, but 
not what we're after really. Oh my lord, there's yellow-tailed king's luck right here. Oh, are you serious? There's king's luck right here. Oh my god, what's the odds of that? Come on, one of them's gonna eat you. Oh, oh, come on. One of them wants to eat it. Let's go. Shit. It's on here, surely, surely, surely. Yeah, that was almost too easy. <laughs> I just chucked a muley, half a muley in there and could shout. <laughs> Mr. Kingfish couldn't help himself. What are they doing out here in the, oh, there's some good sized fish in amongst them too. <laughs> That's pretty weird. I don't normally see them out in the open like this. Wow, that's pretty cool. Kingfish. Okay, 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 okay. I'll get it. Huh, look at him, beautiful little kingy. Um, what I'm gonna do here? Here's I'm going to chuck that lazy lure out. See if I can get one on this little soft plastic. So far it's been working alright for me today. Give that a chance to sink. There was some bigger fish in amongst that lot there. I want to bring this lure here in. Oh, this might even get hit on the way in. If the kings are hungry, they are hungry. Oh, they're following it. <laughs> they wanted it. All right, let's see. See if they hit this lazy lure. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the bomb squad. Nah. Oh, there's a lot of them. There is a lot of them. Yeah, there they are. Yes, sir. -y. Well, that feels like a better one. Oh, how good. That was so random. I just pulled over for a snook and just happened to see the kings follow. The, they just come up to the, to the back of the boat. That's awesome. Oh, come on, boys. I'll tell you what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back. Once I land this guy, I'm going to go back there and anchor in that sandy hole. And then see what else. See if we can get a few more of them up. It just shows you, eh, that trolling really does help you to find stuff because you're just covering so much ground and you just get to see a lot more stuff than what you would if you're flying around at 20 or 30 knots when you're trolling along at five you just get to see a lot of stuff on your sounder you're looking over the side you see a lot more stuff just is a really great way of finding fish it can be boring i know because sometimes you just catch nothing and you just drive around catching nothing for hours and then other times you find fish. Oh, there is some really decent ones in amongst these lot here. I really want to land this guy because oh, the lazy lord just fell out of his mouth. How's that?
Look at him. He's got Mr. Lazy Lure right in his gob there. Mr. Kingfish. And the, the um, snap swivel came undone on that. All right, I'll put him back. The Lazy Lure, the snap swivel came undone. Oh yeah, it's missing. Look, the swivel's still there, but the snap's gone. All right, I'm gonna go back. Because I want one of these guys on the fly rod now. It just seems like the thing to do. Oh, here we go. What's this? Is this a king? I don't think that's a king. Something's having a go. Oh, no, here we go. Yeah, I think it's a king. Oh, where's my sonny's? All right, cool. So I just put the anchor down. While I was messing around, I was changing batteries in the GoPro and letting the anchor go, and I just put a handful of kibs. Oh, this actually feels half decent. Oh, he's gone. Put a handful of kibs and mealies in the water there. Oh, I just got smoked. What happened there? Okay, that's interesting. All right, and now I'm getting the fly rod out. So it's like a little chartreuse. It's just like a little chartreuse pattern. I was using it for flathead the other week, so I can't be bothered tying on a big one. I'm just gonna throw this out and see what happens. I always amuse myself with this fly rod. It's just so ridiculous. So I'm just gonna stick that in there for now while I get myself established. So I've got to sort a few things out here. Okay, there's fish down there. What are they? Are they kings? Yeah, the kings are here. All right. I'll just slowly swap this fly back a bit. And yeah. Yeah, as usual. Oh, be careful what you ask for. Because you just might get it. Kingfish on fly. That was almost too easy. Oh, I feel like I might have just dropped it. I oh, know, he's still there, he's still there. What's he doing? He's just coming straight at me. Oh, come on, this big one-to-one -one retrieve ratio. It's really not ideal. Oh, he's in the bottom now. I don't want you down there, really. I prefer if you came out of that. <laughs> now I'm back onto the. Oh. oh, the spaghetti stick. Oh, no, nah, he's done me. I think he just did me. He did me in the bottom. Oh, no. What's that about? Oh, what did he get? Yeah, my leader and everything's there. Just the fly's gone. Oh yeah, that's chafed. That's like really, really chafed. Well, all right, I got one of Cam. This is one of Cam Watson's original flashes. Look how manky it is. But I don't think these guys are going to care too much. I'm just going to waft that down there. I really don't think they're going to care. They seem like they're in a pretty hungry mood. Oh, I need to cast out of this side because I suck at casting. So all I'm gonna do is just waft this. I'm not even gonna cast it. I'm just gonna waft it out, which didn't even really go very far, but I don't think it really has to. Strip some line. I'm just gonna let that sink towards the bottom a bit. And I reckon if they're still there, a bit more barely, if they're still in the zone, I don't think it will take long before one of them eats that. I'll let that sink to the bottom a bit, and then I'll just strip it back. Strip. Come on, you want it, you want it, you know you want it. Oh, they're all over it. Oh, come on, one of them's going to eat it, surely. Oh, they're swimming circles around it. Oh, 
Oh, can you see him? Can you see him? Oh. Let's go, just come here. You know you want it, just eat it. Might have to chuck something else out to fire him back up again. Or it's this fly, they just don't like this manky. This fly is pretty manky. That other chartreuse pattern was a bloody beautiful looking fly. This one has done the rounds and is pretty bloody ordinary, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, I feel like I just got hammered then. Yeah, fish. Back to the line. Come on, back to the reel. Yeah. Okay. Have I got one or not? Hard to tell. Oh, they move so fast. And this one to one ratio, you just can't keep up with them. Oh, why are you going that way? I think he just busted me off. Yeah, he busted me off. Oh, hook just pulled on him. Look at that fly. Seriously. That is not the best looking fly in the world. Oh, well, just as quick as they were here, they're gone. That's the way with kings, they come in, bang, 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 zhoosh, and then they just disperse, they go. Normally you catch one or two, and the rest of the school wisens up, and then that's pretty much it. So that's exactly what's happened here. I hooked those couple on fly. Um, and then they just don't want to eat anymore. I still see them every now and then. They'll follow my fly in, they'll follow in. They wouldn't even eat a muley. Like a muley, they were swimming around it, looking at it. They just got real spooky. And now they're just gone, full stop. So I'm going to burn in and go and see what else I can find. Um, stick with the original plan. I'm going to go into the back of the reef over here and see if I can find kings in the back of the reef. Or, I don't know, it's been one of those days today. So we'll see what happens. Anything could happen. Oh my, look at this. Look how clear this is. Wow. That's pretty epic. Oh, there's a bust up over here. There's birds busting up on something. You can see a bit of splashing. There's about six or seven birds. There's probably about six or seven birds over here busting up and I'm seeing, oh yeah, a few splashes. I'll just come over here and try to get within range and then I'll have a few casts. And um, see what this is about. I feel like these could be kings as well. Oh, they're moving fast. They could possibly be tuna too. Let's see if I can get within run. Oh, they're gone. Just as quick as I hear, they're gone. That's how it goes with these bloody tuna and stuff. They're real fast moving fish. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, he dropped. Yep, yeah, fish. Oh, oh, yeah, they're like little leafing bonito or something, I think. Oh. Oh, hang on. Feels like I just got bigger. Come on, mate. Oh. Didn't look that big one that jumped out the water, unless that wasn't the one that hooked. These are these little jelly bean tuna or bonito or whatever you want to call them. I'm not even sure I haven't had laid eyes on it yet. But all of them are absolute dynamite baits. Some of them taste pretty good as sashimi as well. You. There you go, what is he? Stand still. What an awesome looking fish. I can feel his heart pumping. I can feel his heart pumping through the thing. Awesome little fish. I'm gonna get that little berserker plug out of his mouth there. He can go straight into the esky. <laughs> or onto the floor as the case may be. All right, mate, I'll get it, I'll get it. Oh. Oh, there's fish busting up over there. I don't know what they are. Get amongst them. Oh, look at them. They're going ham up in the shallows. Oh, oh, yep, got one. I 
Well, that wasn't hard. <laughs> that wasn't hard at all. I was just cruising along this reef edge and I saw them splashing away in the shallows there. Bang, one cast. One cast, one fish, just like that. Wow. Have a look at this place. Oh, that's it for me today. Um, what started off as a search for kingfish um, didn't go so well. Headed out, got some sambos, and then ended up finding the kings in the end anyway. So I've had a great day. I've explored a lot of new country that I've been meaning to look at for a while. And it's all pretty close to home as well. It just shows you don't have to go far to catch half decent fish and entertain yourself for the morning. It's 39 degrees out and it's bloody stinking. So I'm really looking forward to this swim. Anyway, if you like our video, stay tuned and I'll see you guys all in the next episode. And thanks once again, everyone, for watching and for all the support. Yew!